the lakes. But once we get closer to eight, this may be the maximum uh, that we see of the fog. Usually the stuff burns off pretty quickly by 9 or 10 a.m. The model is not showing that. Now, there's a lot of times where uh, it doesn't handle fog very well. This may be one of those times, but I just wanted to show you that that is a possibility uh, as we head towards tomorrow morning. Even though uh, the heart of the area may clear out pretty quickly, we may see that fog hold on just a little bit longer uh, in some of the parts uh, that we talked about, the west and south zone, and then again out here towards the lake. So we'll be watching that tomorrow morning. Current temperatures 33, uh, already down to 24 in Ann Arbor. But again, every time we get clear skies, dry air, uh, that uh, temperature seems to crater out there a lot faster than everybody else. But there are some other 20s, 29 in Howell, also in Flint. These are going to be close to our lows. We may, uh, may actually see these numbers come up a little bit as we head towards tomorrow morning. But there's that 50, and it's 2 degrees above average. That's the first time in two weeks. We've seen a high temperature that has been above average. We may only do it once uh, for the rest of the month, so that would bring three times uh, that we would see for the entire month of November. So we're south of the jet stream. Those temperatures are at least generally mild compared to where we have been. But by the end of the week, that jet goes right back to the south, and we're looking at another a burst of temperatures, another burst of cool air coming in for Friday through the upcoming weekend. So as far as precipitation goes, there's going to be a system that's going to dive just off to our southwest Tuesday, so that misses us. We've got one solid shot of rain, and that is going to be on Thursday, so do expect to see rain across most of the area as we head into Thursday. That's also going to be our next warmest temperature as we get towards the end of this week. Numbers on the high side don't look a whole lot different tomorrow because the cloud cover is pretty much going to be on top of everybody. And then we will get back to 50 degrees with that rain on Thursday, and then here comes the cold air again by the end of the week. But I'll tell you, after the mild numbers that we see here in the next couple days and yeah. that rain on Thursday, everything's going to be all nice and clean by the 